live breaking news. And that breaking news involves the man acquitted of killing Kate Steinle. We just learned that Jose Inez Garcia Zarate will face new federal firearm charges in connection with the case. Zarate was found guilty last week of being a felon in possession of a firearm, but not guilty of murder or manslaughter, the more serious charges he faced. The most time Zarate could face because of that conviction would be six months in jail because of time already served. However, if convicted of either of these new charges, he could face up to 10 years in jail. Meanwhile, San Francisco District Attorney George Gascon is blaming himself for the outcome of this trial. Yeah, ABC 7 News reporter Leanne Melendez explains what's next. But let me San Francisco's District Attorney George Gascon stood firm against those who have criticized his office for failing to get a murder conviction against Jose Inez Garcia Serrate, the undocumented immigrant who killed Kate Steinle. And I think it's important for the President of the United States to remember that this is a nation of laws. And part of being a nation of laws is that we respect the legal process. Gascon still says it was a homicide despite the jury's verdict. His staff believed it had enough evidence to try Garcia Serrate with murder. As the evidence piled up, Gascon said the court agreed that the jury should be given the option of first degree murder. The judge agreed that he felt there was sufficient evidence there to put the question to the jury. Instead, Garcia Serrate was only convicted of possession of a firearm, something the defense is now appealing, even though minutes after the verdict, San Francisco's public defender Jeff Adachi understood it to be fair. The, the crime of possession of a gun only requires that the person knowingly possess a firearm. Garcia Serrate will be sentenced on December 14th. Neither side has said what they will recommend. He faces between 16 months and three years in prison, and he has already served two and a half years. Despite being heavily criticized by the outcome of this trial, Gascon, who faces re-election in 2019, doesn't believe the case will hurt his career. In San Francisco, Leanne Melendez, ABC 7 News.